The Sweet Life of Zack and Cody was a hilarious sitcom about two identical twins living in a hotel. Think Eloise meets the parent trap, but with boys. But just because this show is on the Disney Channel doesn't mean that there weren't tons of dirty jokes. I'm Wendy Van Lanningham, and these are the dirtiest dirty jokes in The Sweet Life of Zack and Cody. Number 6. When Zack and Cody get a new job at the Paul Revere Mini Mart, things get a little competitive between the two brothers. But when their mom shows up to visit them at work, that's when things get dirty. If not, you look for the pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. I'm not Irish, and you're not getting lucky. Yeah, Carrie! You tell that weird American Revolution reenactment store owner! Does anybody else think Paul Revere is a weird choice for a Mini Mart mascot? Number 5. In this episode, Chef Paolo has to explain one of the dishes that he made to a birthday party guest. Of course, things get real TMI real quick. What's in it? Uh, tomato, zucchini, green pepper, olive oil, virgin olive oil, extra virgin olive oil, olive oil with the questionable past. Mmm, slutty olive oil. Perfect for snacking. Number four. After London's father goes bankrupt and loses all of their money, London is forced to abandon her Paris Hilton lifestyle and move in with Maddie. Of course, London isn't used to doing any chores at all, so when Maddie says this, she doesn't react like a normal human. It's time to strip and make the bed. Okay, that's what poor people do. Whoa there, big girl! I meant strip the sheets off the bed and put on new ones. Oh. Calm down, you're not that poor. Wait until you have to put yourself through law school before you start that stripping career, okay, baby girl? Number three. With Maddie's 16th birthday coming up, the boys are trying to find her the perfect gift. Zach turns to Esteban for advice, and Esteban thinks that their man-to-man -man talk is going in a different direction. Esteban, I need to talk to you man-to-man. -man. Oh, don't tell me you want to talk about the birdies and the beezies. <laughs> yeah, maybe the lobby boy isn't the best person to teach you sex ed. But to be fair, getting the talk from your dad is just as awkward. When Cody shows Zach that he got Maddie the perfect gift, Zach says this. Well, what was I doing when she said that? Staring at her? Think about that talk we had with Dad. Oh, yeah! Boners! Number two. When the boys try to hide their new friend Tippy in the Tipton, things get a little crazy. And that's because Tippy's a horse! I hear he landed the audition because he's Sarah Jessica Parker's nephew. Anyways, Carrie gets the rude awakening of a lifetime when Tippy gets a little fresh with her in bed. Oh! Oh, <laughs> oh Mr. Clooney, we hardly know each other. <laughs> Oh, George. <laughs> yeah, Zack and Cody's mom was having a sex dream about the clones. But how can you blame her? Silver Fox, am I right? Number one. In this episode, Maddie and London are competing for the cover of Teen Trends magazine. Cody tries to give Maddie an inspirational pep talk about taking charge of her own destiny and says this. Maddie, don't let fear in your cockpit. Don't let what in your where? Ah, the cockpit. Nature's special pocket. These are my favorite dirty jokes from the sweet life of Zack and Cody, but I want to know what you guys think in the comments. Like and subscribe to Nerdwire, and I'll be back next week to ruin your childhood.